Hey there, everyone. The SoCal playing Crash Bandicoot. It's the Bandicoot the Crash. And last time, yeah, last time we beat World 2. This is it. I've earned a double jump. I don't know how I feel about a double jump in this game. Knowing this team's propensity and their level design, like, I feel like it's just gonna make things more hard. We got a Time Wizard as a boss this time. Dino Maybe. With a very excited punctuation. Well, haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Tropy, master of time and creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little charade, so you won't be leaving my area with the crystals. I swear it. Your hour and minute hand on your time hat are, like, not synced. They're going in different ways. Like, what does that mean? All right, we're in the murky dark of dinosaur land. Now that I got a double jump, I can go up here and get this one up. Yeah, and my mask is floating around. Everyone is happy. There's a... Uh... Oh. Is this my ancestor? Well, I still exist for now. So let's be happy about that. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, someone asked if it's supposed to just be weird, pitch dark, nothingness in Dino Place, and I think so. Like, I think it's supposed to be like, whoops, I, that, that was, that was me tripping and feel bad. And when there's grass, you go slow. And I think it's supposed to just be like weird water. Alright, yeah, I still have, what? I, are you sure? Okay, so, Crash Bandicoot, a game where sometimes it's hard to tell if you've reached the limit where an enemy will hurt you or not. That's just the reality of it. Like, it's a weird, like... I keep thinking the word gopher, but that's not the word at all. It's like a weird dolphin, but like, not, like, more land-based than that. Not a, maybe a seal? I guess there's something sealish to this. I guess I could, like, put an evil god inside that thing and it would feel natural. Got also some steam vents. Wow, exciting. Look at that lava. Oh, that's some blue. I didn't see you at all there, Professor Face. Alright, well, we got a diamond path, yellow. I know where the yellow diamond is, but I do not have it collected. So I won't worry too much about things. Whoops, you didn't double jump because... You need to double jump on the up, not on the down. Like, it's useful to be able to double jump on the down. That's, the egg is gonna get released. And yeah, a dinosaur is gonna come out. And I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh, what? Do I understand this place correctly? Probably not. Okay, maybe you're supposed to interact with that dinosaur, not assuming it's an enemy. I mean, that's a weird take, but I'm um, free to try anything. See, it's funny because it's a dinosaur. All right, get out of here. So, do you think I'm like your mom? Yeah, okay. Okay, I thought, like, I probably, whoa, we jump. Hi. Okay, and that's this now. Got it. But you don't have, like, an attack. So, you go like, yeah, and I sacrifice you to the Lava Lords, and that's obviously not how that's supposed to go, but it is what happened. Maybe I, I'm fine, like, where's land? Is it all land? Yeah, like, so there's a weird illusion that happens that, because it does look sometimes like there's no, whoa, whoa. All right, you were useful there, my dino pal. And you're gone. What a ridiculous circumstance. Like, the, the, the reflection makes it look like there's just nothing. It's uh, really tricky. Get out of here, science man. I ain't time for you. I gotta destroy these boxes. That somehow ended up in prehistory. I don't question things. That's just how I live my life. It's easier that way. Oh, it's not, it's not the healthiest way, but it is the easier way. Right. Oh, there we go, steam vent, here we go, steam cell, here we go. Look at that lava everywhere. We got dino bones. There we go, we're on land now. 
We're not on weird hyper transparent water. <laughs> well, there's the end of the level. Found it. It's right here. What's my cat? Ooh, nowhere close. Okay. I'm gonna assume that. Well, I mean, I, I shouldn't assume, but I'm getting vibes that you need to go in the gem pass for to do the bomb. Well, maybe it's just a very early crystal? And we're just started with a level? It's possible. Look at that. We get a preview of what's going on, and now we're in a completely different time space. Well, at the very least, different space. 25 things to go. You gotta smash the iron ball thing. Alright, so you do that, and then you can get on top, and then you can do this. There we go. This is it. The end of reality. It's all there is to it. Oh man, that has a range. Alright, so just... Like, I'm hearing a big, like, rumbly. I don't know if I'm supposed to be... What does that mean? What are you telling me? Pound here? Okay. I can, I can do that. Oh, maybe that's how like, you're supposed to, like, get rid of these. Because you pound the ground close by. Okay, so that's how you indicate that in the most blatant way possible. I'm assuming there were issues while playtesting. <laughs> that's what that reads to me. Yay, we're back here now. We're going back in the sludge. Yeah, sludge hunter. Get down the thing that looks like a dino was gonna pop out that cave. Whoa, I can't believe I predicted that. Please break that block. Thank you, dino. Uh, hi, whoa, whoa. Here we go. Destroy that for me, please. So, yeah, I just landed in that lava and I died. I thought I double jumped, but I did not. That's fine. Uh, you could slide into boxes too. So this is meant to be a What? Well, I mean, double jump is good and all, but it does slow you down a lot. Like, you lose all momentum. So it's no good in, like, a situation like in this context. Gotta hit this box, probably. I don't, like, it's like I just disappear. You gotta take care of that. It's fine. Dang it! Uh, I messed up. No, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. That, that's fine. Didn't... Well, I... I didn't hit the box the first time. Well, yeah, I tripped. I didn't land good. At some point, I'm just gonna get a pity rutabaga, and that's gonna be it. I'm, I'm gonna beat the level because of that. But, like, it should just... Get one. This... The developers really like just making you try to one-shot things. Which... Fair, I guess. All right, there we go. Progress. Yeah, I'm missing like 20 boxes or something. I expected that. Oh, the dinosaur doesn't go down. I'm assuming that uh, I'm going to need to go in the gem path to get all the gems. That's fine, you know. That's kind of reason why those kind of things but it is a double gem level so i don't know there might be something else too i'm not gonna get stressed out about that yet all right what's 12 gonna be like oh another water level has a red gem here i need a red gem somewhere i remember but i don't remember where isn't there gonna be another like water tube i guess so and you start with the jet ski machine like right on the start all right, uh, let's see here. Do I remember how this works? Yeah, you just throw missiles all day long. <laughs> Dead it. All right, see in here. Oh, well, okay, gotta be careful. I can see a situation where, like, a box falls somewhere and lose access to something that way. Uh, 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 watch out for the puffer fish. Swimming gingerly in the sea. I'm just gonna destroy a box. And then I'm gonna lose my machine. I'm not sure why. Uh, well... I, so, pressing this button brings you forward, and you don't really have any mechanism in place to bring you back. So you gotta be careful. Yeah, you just never get hit. I, I'm sorry if it's something I repeat often that I seem to complain about often that, hey... But I, to me, it's just weird. That one hit seems to be such a luxury in this, in this game, in places. It just doesn't, like, match as my... I guess it's my expectations. 
Alright, so, do, just, yeah, just follow along. It's not any more complicated than that. Alright, these are basic. Oh, I didn't see you there. Sweet, well, your hunting strategy worked. Please. Alright, so, watch out for that yield that I legit did not see. Like, does it retract at some point, or? It does, okay, there you go. I just, I just, my timing was bad. That's a shark, it's there. Um, can I hit it? I guess, I'm so used to having the missile pod that, yeah, so I didn't even go forward, because I got, kind of caught myself in a corner. Whoa, it's a hit, can't believe it. Look at that wind turbine, out of sounds. That's not true, it's a very noisy wind turbine. Please don't make things up about the wind. Uh, look at that. See how noisy this machine is? This is why you don't want to have wind power. Alright, so, yeah, it's very similar to the last time I went down the tubes. Just go down the side and you attack down and you're like, hey, this thing is keeping me from going places. And you like, you see a hatch, but you're like, doors closed, buddy. And I'm like, bottlenose shark. That's not a thing, I don't think, but we can make it a thing, if we believe in each other. Hey, there's the gem that's just out of place. It's just here. Welcome to here, country. We got ourselves green nitro. Here we go. The nitro show. Whoa, just, yeah. Coax on true. We are the coax makers. So, like, is up here the bonus treat, or is it passage? Well, I just got hurt by an eel on the side that I didn't see again. That happens a lot. Ah, oh, there's a switch that I need to press at some point that's gonna open the way up. Okay, fair enough. Eel surprise up here, maybe not. So if I hit a switch, consider backtracking. Got it. I understand that concept. You're not a switch, you're a fish. Very different things. Oh, I can't hit you when you're... Okay. I guess that makes sense. I just... I don't, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. This is a, like, that's gonna be like a TNT or something one day. There's gonna be a Morai Hill somewhere maybe up here. It's gonna get me. Okay, it didn't get me, but... Yeah, it's, it's a tiny thing. It's a... Get out of the way until... It's not... Dude. I'm getting stuck like all the polygons here. Good times are been had. And I died, like, right next to that checkpoint, huh? And here's just this awkward dance. Between a puffer fish and water tornado. There we go, did it. Ooh, do you, no, I can't go in pipes with this thing, so I can't return. Maybe the switch was earlier in the level and I just missed it. Like, it was just like, just something somewhere, you know? Because this feels like I'm getting to the end. Or it's just a tube with two sharks in it, one or the other. <laughs> Dang it, that's not what I meant to happen. Oh, momentum is king here. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, nitro here, so if I still have my thing, I just blow these up and don't have any problems. Yeah, see, you hit this, then you gotta go back. You have to go back. I just said so. Ah, oh, shoot, I thought I could. Alright. Well, hey, so I return here. Maybe I'll have a better chance at blowing things up. I don't know. I truly don't know. I have no frames of references. I want to do it, man. I have to do it, because I know about it. So this time you can bring your little ship. That's fun. <laughs> Destroy the universe and blow things up without any understanding of what's going on. Like, I heard some glass shatter there. That's probably good news. Oh, it's nitro. Okay. Alright, I just blew up that apple away. It did not want anything to do with this violence. So, this thing just kind of makes you want to go forward forever, so something to keep in mind. Well, yeah, see? Well, but I've destroyed 
all of the enemy forces. I still need to watch out for these gusts of air, but it's whatever, man. We're just there. We're just, we're just happy. You know it. Just chilling, just being vertical. Meanwhile, I'm a small animal wearing flippers. It's a good thing that when you warp through space and time, you get the necessary accessories to be able to live, such as a leather jacket or oxygen. Alright, so I'm afraid of... Can you bop it? You can destroy it. Okay. Alright, so... Yeah, that's what I thought. We got a TNT barrel, and the blast rat is gonna hit the other TNT. There we go. And now we got this gate open for us. With its very own continue. Well, then that's actually pretty darn gosh nice. Okay, I had to press a button there to fight the wind, so that's something you can do. Uh, at your own time and space. Yeah, I just, I just kind of touched that. That happened. Cannot be denied. So maybe this is one more. Yeah, yeah, no, okay, I get stuck in the. Yeah, so maybe you just want to go straight down for this one. Just kind of ignore everything around you. It's all just gonna hurt. The fish is gonna bite. TNT is gonna bite. Everyone's so hungry. So it's worth noting that, like, you swim by pressing arrows in this game. You kind of always have a frog suit. Except it's a slow frog suit. But then you press the button and you get, like, a dash forward. These are the unnecessary instructions that I give. So all that's gonna blow up. That's pretty nice. Yeah, look at that. Except for this one box that survived, but it didn't try for long. There's a weird moving thing in the background there. I don't know if that's a glitch or if it's supposed to do that. Your guess is as good as mine. Look at that. We're swimming in the kelp. You need to pay high money to get that. Uh, oh, wait, wait. But doing this. Yeah! And let me double, yeah, Red Gem, here we go. I went through the secret and I swam in snow. It just melted into water and surrounded the world. Crash Bandicoot has a giant nostril, also a giant belly button. That has fur and you can still see it. Look at that, he's just popping everything out of his pockets. Yeah, here we go, do your dance so happy and he's so happy yeah so this is the Asian world as you can tell by the dinosaurs in the water I mean obviously 